Hey everyone, JJ Gravy here with some more roadhead. So, yeah. Just <laughs> go over. Quick. I think I was here last time. I did a video about three days ago, um, but I ended up deleting it because I didn't have enough space to record the up session I was at at Phil's. So I had to delete that. So I'm just gonna do another one now. I didn't get too much done. I think I had to there, but wasn't worth an update. But yeah, this is all done. Very slightly super elevated, and that's just simply done with more glue, which I think I've talked about in the previous video. But yeah, I'm not sure how the chemical plant is gonna work. I've been told to stay away from curved switches if I can, but I think I'm gonna have to have one right here because I can't really fit a number six. I could probably fit number five, but I don't. I was told not to go in under a number six switch, too, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna see what I can do about that because I have to have the chemical plant somewhere right here. Otherwise, there will be no room anywhere. So, but yeah, and then the diamond's gonna be here, a little off center, right there. And then we'll just go towards that wall. And that switch will go all the way through, and then it'll start right here. So, somewhere, I don't know. But, um,. <laughs> That's pretty much it for this half. Um, don't like how these jet out, but I'm not going to see it after I do ballasting, so. Like the flip flop stuff. I'm not, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to see it. All these scuffs and stuff. But. Actually, I have a big hole right here. I just filled that in with glue, so it's nice and flush. So. But this is where I'm going to start double track, or the, the uh, siding. And I'll just start here, and then I'll wrap around the inside all the way around to about right there. And then I'll go in. But this is going to be the entrance for the uh, grain elevator. And then what I'll basically do is have a little curved section right there. And then all of my two tracks just going that way. Not sure where they're going to end, I'm guessing, but right here. I'll hide this by a bluff or something, like a little hill going down just a little bit. But I want to have a lumber place somewhere over here, but that's not final. Just trying to add more industry so I can have like a local or something. Some action basically. So, yeah, I stopped here because this took me about three, four hours, which is ridiculous. But, yeah, I was just trying to go slow and actually screwed up a few times over there. So I started slowing way down and doing small sections at a time and going back in. So, turned out a lot better. This is all even. Sit right here a little bit. Actually, didn't even try to sit over here and there because it's not work. Which I don't really need. I'm not going like around the at like 10 miles per hour, but uh, real speed, not um, uh, model speed. But um, last video, I had a train running. But like I said, I had to delete that with my awesome brand new top of the line DCC system. Just kidding, this is an old DC D uh, system from my dad's childhood so works pretty good I have to have it on a hundred to even go like like that but that's just with an Intermountain engine but like a BLI 140 and it's like flying so I don't know kinda weird but pretty neat I uh, like it but that's obviously not what I'm using I'm most likely going with either Easy DCC or NCE so heard some bad things about Digitrax I also heard some good things, but yeah, I just, I don't know, I've been recommended by a lot of people for NCE, um, Digitrax, EZDCC, and uh, someone recommended Bachman, but I don't, no, I just, um, I use that for my end scale though, because it's just real simple, but um, that's pretty much it, uh, thank you for watching, and I'm going to get back to work.